Differentiation basics on Classpad 2. Now we'll start off in the math application and our job is to differentiate this little polynomial here. So um, I've already got a copy of it typed in. I'm just going to drag it onto a new line and then select it and head off to the interactive calculation and differentiation tool. Now when we uh, release the mass there, you can see that it wants to differentiate our expression with respect to x and do the first order. So if we tap OK, which is basically the default behavior that we want um, 9 times out of 10, then uh, ClassPad simply differentiated the function for us. Um, there are some other ways we can do that. So let's take a copy of this. If we wanted to do the derivative at a point, then we could choose one of the other options. So here we go again, we've selected the function interactive calculation diff. And this time we'll select the, instead of differentiation, derivative at a value. And the value simply means that the x coordinate. So say we've got uh, the point when x is 2 on this curve. If I enter 2 and tap OK, Classpad returns a slightly different syntax. Differentiate this function with respect to x. Um, uh, first order derivative at the point where x is 2. So we've substituted 2 in here. 2 2's are 4 times 3 is 12. Take 2 gives us 10. So we can check it's all working to plan. Um, there are a few shortcuts. If you simply type in the function, press execute, uh, then there's the action calculate diff and tap execute again, which does that. Another way of doing it is if I take a copy of the expression, press execute. So we literally type it in, press execute. You might have shift keys enabled and our, one of my shift keys is shift and seven. So if I tap shift, notice the S turns up next to the battery, seven uh, pops up differentiate. Um, and so on. I've got quite a few of these assigned just to save me having to tap through the menus. When I tap execute, then it's differentiated 6x squared minus 2 to give us 6x. Um, there's also some on the keyboard. If I simply go to the math 2 where the calculus functions live and tap the derivative template, put nothing into the boxes and tap execute, you can see it's differentiated the expression on the previous line again. So three ways there that you could um, do some differentiation fairly quickly. Let's um, clear all that lot out for a second. If we wanted to do some higher order derivatives, so here we go again, we've got x cubed um, minus 2x, but maybe we wanted to do the second order derivative. We can select it, interactive calculation diff, and choose uh, the second order derivative. So pop in a two there, say execute, and it's double differentiated it to give us six X there. We could have used the uh, template from here as well. If we tapped onto this fella, then we can copy the original function into this part of the template. Uh, it's to do with the variable X, our derivative. And then if we put a two up here, Classpad normally fills in the uh, two downstairs for us as well. Yep, it matches them up. We tap execute. And so we could do it from the template here as well. You know, it's a couple of ways of doing that. We could also differentiate with respect to other variables. So maybe I've got a T on this um, math two just over here. So let's differentiate something like um, T to the power of four maybe. Um, and maybe we'll do the third order derivative there, tap execute, and we end up with 24t after differentiating this expression three times.